What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. As you can see here, we're in our new refresh Tesla Model S. And uh, you guys have been asking two questions. One, how long does it take to supercharge? Which is exactly what we're gonna work on in this video. We finally got it down to about 30%. So we're gonna see how long it takes to get from 30 to 90% at a 150 kilowatt station. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of 250s necessarily around where I am. Uh, the one we're going to is only a 150. I've used it mostly, exclusively, honestly, as opposed to 250s. So we're gonna see how it holds to charge from 30 to 90. And then also, we're going to see the second part of the questions that we're getting, and that is truly, what is this range? So real life range, what is it on a 2021 refresh Tesla Model S long range? So you know what it's rated at. You're supposed to get 375 on the 21 inch arachnid rim, rims, which is what we have. We're gonna go ahead, put it to the test. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and charge it to 100% so we can get that true gauge. We're gonna do it, we're not too far away. We probably should be about 30% by the time we get there. Let's go ahead and get this going and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the supercharger. And let's get this show on the road. For those of you that haven't seen the new graphics in the other video, let me get back in. You can see exactly how neat the new animation is, or I should say graphic, it doesn't really change too much uh, on the display. Let's see if it's gonna go ahead and kick in. There we go. And you can see it kicking up right now as we speak. So we're pulling in a little over, okay, almost to the peak, 144, that's not too bad. So you can see it's saying 25 minutes now, but since this is a high usage supercharger station, it auto adjusted the limit to 80%. We're gonna go ahead and obviously move that back up and see what we get. Okay, so after we went ahead and moved it back up to 100%, you can see it's wanting to take us 50 minutes to charge from 31% to 100. By no means is that bad. Um, again, this is only off of a 150, so it's not going to be the true fastest you can get out of this new Model S, but it's nice to see that it's staying pretty consistent around 140 right now. Um, for the low percentage points. Uh, I'm curious to see how long it holds up, but we'll come back as soon as we get filled up, guys. All right, guys, so only eight minutes later, you can see we actually just crossed over to 51%. So eight minutes, we gained 20%. Uh, not too shabby. The majority of this time too, we did hold at 140 kilowatts uh, charging rate, which is not too bad. It's actually a little better than I thought, again, nothing close to the 250 it could be pulling in but i think for eight minutes to get 20 percent that is that's pretty impressive all right guys here's a little bit of an update i actually had somebody come behind me a few minutes ago and charge off of the second charger on the same um, supercharging network so you can see here it's been now about a little over 24 minutes or so and we've now gotten to 75 percent instead of that original 31 that we were at. So still a substantial bump, but we have been here for quite some time. You can see due to the new charging time, it's only charging at 79, oh, excuse me, 79 kilowatts, uh, rather than the more than almost double that it was originally at around 144. Um, so it has extended the time out to 30 minutes again. So we're gonna go ahead and sit tight for a little longer. I'm not sure if we'll make it quite to 100%, but we'll see. All right, guys, here we go. We got to 91% uh, and the supercharging station got a little packed. So you can see we started at 706 and it's now 745 and we got to 91%. So that's about 40 minutes um, without getting to full from 31%. So pretty substantial time. Um, not too impressed after this video. Obviously, there's a lot of factors in play, including the supercharger station itself, but Wanted to go ahead and at least throw this up for you to give you some sort of basis. I will be going to a 250 
here in the near future, probably next month on a quick trip. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably do another video for that one as well. But what I wanna do now is as soon as I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and finish charging to 100%. Once I do that, I'll actually obviously reset the, uh, the trip computer here for how long it's gonna take and how much distance we get from the last full charge. And uh, we'll really get a true gauge of the true mileage that you get on a full charge in the long range. So drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think you guys wanna know about or see in the next video. If you have any other questions, we'll try to get to them and do some videos for you. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.